G'day everybody, it's me again. Um, weather's gone shitty, no sun, I need wind power. So uh, we're going to be doing some fabrication and mucking around this afternoon. I've got some materials here. Got that bit of steel there, I've got another pole out the back. A few other bits and pieces going on. Um, basically this uh, bit of uh, square tube here is going to become a four-legged base. And uh, that will be the base of the, or the very base of the pole will have some gussets in place to uh, stiffen it um, that will then be probably tacked to the top of the container, I won't overly do it and then uh, it's only enough to stop it moving and then uh, the guy wiring will be done and then once the guy wiring is done we will put the generator head on, we'll lift that into place with the crane truck so probably the easiest way to do it once it's uh, all up there and uh, yeah, so we're going to have to dig out one of the cold saws because um, I want to make nice clean straight cuts and they need, need to be used anyway. It's been sitting around for ages. It needs, a good, it needs using. I'm surprised if anything actually will work anymore if it's not just all seized up is going to be the problem. That still moves. Clamp still works. It's a good start. There should be still water in here and coolant. Ew. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to check out, see how that goes when it goes. But uh, yeah, we'll get this one going. Shouldn't be too hard at all. It's just three phase cold cut saw. Oh. Holy shit, did you guys just see that? That handle just snapped off in my hand. Wow, okay, so that part's seized. That's gonna be a problem. That's going to be a problem. A big problem. Maybe we won't be using coal saws this afternoon. We've got the other little one here. Oh, now the little one's not seized. And the clamp appears to be moving. Yep. Okay, so maybe we'll use this little one instead. There's still three phase. Plug full of water. Lovely. But uh, yeah, enough waffling. Time to get onto it. And uh, this is continuation of the video from the other day. Um, I got rained out and uh, the cold saw was shitting me, so I'd stopped uh, trying. Um, don't look at my horrible welding on that, that's disgusting. It's on there strong, but it's disgusting. Um, I'm not the best with the stick welder, that's why I'm practicing. I did manage to get the uh, cold cut saw working perfectly, however, and uh, I've already cut a couple of pieces for my uh, little base legs. Now, these don't actually take any of the sideways force, the guy wires should be doing that, so. Hopefully it won't fall apart on me. Um, that is actually secured to the pole. It's bolted up. Once it's all up and running, and I'm happy with the way it's going, I will actually tack those bolts. I'll make them make sure they're tight and then tack the heads on. So I'll be uh, taking a grinder up with me if I'm going to get them off. But uh, I thought I'd show you guys the cold saw working. Um, Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Um, so yeah, that's the four bits cut. It's uh, running out of light here today though. So uh, what I think I'm going to do is pack up for the moment. And uh, I'll weld up that base tomorrow. Actually, depends. I might be able to just do it now. Put enough room here. And sort of lay it out on this concrete. Even though this concrete probably isn't the perfectly flattest concrete in the world. It's still good for a start. I might be able to just tack it together and then and then make sure it's all square and then bash it up. So the idea is, is I'm going to put the four poles slightly spaced from each other. There's enough room for my mast to go in the middle. such so obviously I'll clean up the edges and all that but 
I'll uh, pick that up with a couple of slings in the forklift so it's dead vertical and uh, and I'll drop that pole in the middle of it centre them all out, tack them all into place make sure I'm happy with it and uh, if I'm happy with it uh, I'll weld it all up well it's fucking dark out here now and I managed to get most of the base done it's a bit wobbly but uh, it ha doesn't have to support any weight just yet what I'm going to do is, is I've got the basic idea tacked together it all fits, it will actually stand up by itself with the base without falling over which is good um, what I have to do is move some junk and then bring out the big MIG and then uh, zap it all up because my stick welding is horrible it's okay for uh, tacking but not really for structural work Ugh. thanks for watching everybody